Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. This is Jason and you're watching Old Car Guy. It's 32 degrees. It should be warm enough to wash the truck, shouldn't it? So our hose bib is right here on the side of the house. I've got the water turned on down in the basement. We're gonna back old Dale out in a nice, clean, gravelly, dirty spot here in the driveway. And we're gonna give it a bath so that we can get started on buffing this thing back to its original shine. So seeing as how we've got this thing outside, we might as well let it warm up the temperature and uh, make sure everything's good that way. And uh, besides, I just like to hear it rumble. So like I said, the goal here today is to get this layer of dust and metal grindings and all that stuff off the truck. So we're gonna hook the hose up and we'll get her hose down and give her a little bit of a bath. So there we go guys, we've got the truck all cleaned up. I squeegeed it off, we'll take a towel and we'll get rid of all the water before we start buffing. But I wanted to give you a before and after. So here is the before we start buffing. So let's get the truck back in the shop here where it's a little bit warmer and we'll start drying it off and getting ready to put the buff to it. Now you've probably seen us at the shop before wiping down the vehicles after we wash them and you may be wondering why well not simply just to get from water spots but the water spots we have at the shop are hard so if they stay on the vehicle too long they leave spots on the paint so we squeegee them off and make sure that all the water is gone So now that the truck is all dried off, here's the products that we're going to be using uh, to try and bring the shine back on old Dale here. Now we've got some 3M perfected, the part number on this is 06086 and this is a really good cutting compound that's going to get rid of some of the dirt and the haze and then we're going to polish it back with the mothers and this is just basically a Canuba wax and polish and uh, we'll use a different pad for that. So we've got a couple of different pads, one's for cutting and one is for polishing and we got our DeWalt buffer here that we're gonna plug in and get right to work so without further ado these are the products that we use on a regular basis when we get a vehicle that's got a little bit of a, a haze or maybe it's an older vehicle and the clear coats a little fuzzy or uh, if you're sanding uh, wet sanding and you want to bring it back then these are some of the products that we use for that as well so anyway without further ado let's get started we'll start cutting this up and then we'll, we can do a before and after, and we'll show you kind of halfway in between, between one side of the hood, excuse me, between one side of the hood and the other, that way you can get a really good side-by-side -side comparison on what we're doing. So let's get this out and make a mess. So it is times like this that I wish I had Steve from Uzo Lou Garage out here giving me some tips and some pointers. I've done this before, I've done it plenty of times, but sometimes it's a matter of knowing which pad to use, which compound to use, this, that, and the other thing. I know he does a lot more of that than I do, but this is how we're going to do it. might not be right, but we're going to make it work. Smush it all in so it gets spread out evenly and we don't have any stuff flying all over the place. 
And one thing I like about this DeWalt is that it is variable speed, so we can start off slow and then speed it up. see all the squirrel marks and what's left over from the buffing but it's there and uh, we'll just give her a little bit of a wipe down here and we'll show you the comparison between the cut and what it was before and then we'll go over it with some polish and see how much of a difference it is between when we started and where we are now. So you guys can see the reflection in the lights up above that that has brought a lot of shine back in this old paint. As we move over to this side, quite a difference. So we're going to line the camera up here right down the middle and take a look at this light reflection right here. Real clear here, quite dull over here. We're still not done. We're going to put the coat of polish on this side and then we'll compare it one more time. Now that we've got the polish all set up there, it's basically a wax, so we've got to wait for it to haze up, and then we can go and clean that off. Man, oh man, what a difference. That is as smooth as a baby's bum. Well, at least till you get down to the scratches and stuff, but man, that is some shiny. I'm not sure if the camera does it any justice or not, but let's move over here to the side that I didn't do yet. And like I said before, you look at the how sharp the images are on those lights. And then you come over here and talk about a difference. I am super impressed and excited. I cannot wait to get the rest of this truck done and then get it outside. Cause that's where it's gonna end up when I'm done here today is outside in the sun. And you guys will be able to see the ultimate finished product. So let's get this done. Before we lose daylight, we've probably got a couple of hours of work ahead of us. Okay guys, we have got this truck buffed, cut, and polished. We are ready to back it outside and take a look at it under the natural light. Now granted the sun has gone under the clouds, but you'll still get the idea. Let's get this thing backed outside. Now that is a brand new truck. guys can let me know down in the comment section what you think. Do you like this look or would you sooner have it patinaed? Well, maybe you'd sooner have a completely new paint job. Let me know down below.
Well, there you have it, guys. We've got this video all wrapped up. Truck looks like a million bucks. She's ready for an engine and a transmission, and we can get this thing driving on the road. Of course, we're waiting for the roads to clear up. This time of year being spring, the roads get wet on nice days like today. So keep in mind that the Car Guy and Six Fan Show alternates every week from my channel to Grant Tommy's, who is straight Six Fan. His link is the second one in the description box below. Please go over there, hit him up, and uh, join, uh, join his channel. That way, when we do show the uh, Car Guy and Six Fan Show on his channel, you'll get notified when we go live. He's also got some pretty great content on a 78 Ford Fairmont. T-shirts of my own, Old Car Guy, you can get them at the first link in the description box below. I hope you can head on over there, support this channel in more ways than just watching these videos and giving thumbs up. If you haven't already, please go ahead and do so. And if you like the content, consider subscribing. It would mean an awful lot to me. And by hitting that thumbs up, it also tells YouTube that I'm doing a pretty good job and I'll recommend my channel to other viewers. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.